to catch up on but we just came to college station to watch abram's brother graduate and now we're gonna go have dinner with his family to me and this is gonna be kind of like the story his point of view my point of view and there'll be lots and lots of wedding content to come most of it will be just me <laughs> but everyone will be making it features here and there but we are officially fiancés. okay so we're gonna start with your point of view just because you're the one who did all the work my point of view yeah your POV okay got it yeah yeah, yeah. when did we like start picking out the rings February. So what's fun is actually the video that I did, I think it was like the Valentine's Day video and I said we're going on a date but you guys can't know. He asked me to go ring shopping with him for Valentine's Day. So I literally couldn't show you guys but I picked out this ring. Oh my gosh guys, guess what I'm doing today? By the time y'all see this, you'll already know all the tea of us being engaged and everything, but we are going wedding ring shopping. Now, I think I already know exactly what I want. I was like, oh, I want to get something like unique and cool, but then the more I looked at rings, I was like, wait, like a cute little classic, like not going to go out of style ring would be so cute. Then I remembered I have my mom and dad's wedding ring, but I love it because I love my parents and this represents like how I came to be, like my parents. And the diamond is obviously the most expensive part of ring so to already have a diamond that's a really clutch and I have no idea when I'm getting engaged we're just looking at rings he was like we need to pick out the ring and then you don't get to know anything else how are you feeling hungry honestly saying excited to look for rings yeah what are you proposing 49 uh 620 how many months likewise here we go okay, let's go and I picked it out, but I didn't see it completed. I just saw like a picture of what it would look like and still like, I honestly, when I saw the picture, what it lo would look like was like, I know that's what I want, but it kind of looks ugly. So I was worried this whole time that I was gonna hate it. For some reason I thought it was gonna be like super high up, but it's actually perfect. So moving on, <laughs> what was your like, what was your reaction when you first got the ring? How did you feel? Were you like, oh wow, that looks really good? Or what did you think? I'm usually a skeptic about most things. Um, I didn't know how I was going to feel, but it, I mean, when I first went and got it, um, the lady showed it to me, I mean, it was beautiful, so I knew she was going to like it. And there's very few things if I'm sure you're going to like or not, um, but this was, this was one of them, thousand percent, I knew you were going to like it. So after you got the ring, between when you got the ring and when you proposed, that was February to May, so did you tell anyone or show anyone the ring, and what did you do with the ring that whole time? I hit it so perfectly that even if Sydney could try to find it, she would never, um, you know. I only actually tried to look twice. He thinks I was looking like every day. I was not, because I wanted to be surprised. Cope. Um, <laughs> he doesn't believe me. I, yeah, I had it in a couple of different thoughts, but the only person that I showed was my mom, because she was staying in my room and whatnot, and it was just real quick. So she was the only person that saw it before Sydney did. Well, I guess, I and the lady who sold it to me. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, about a week after, I had it. I took it to me every day with work. Took it with me every day to work. Um, when we traveled, I had it because I never knew when the day was gonna be that I was gonna propose. So um, you know, I just I I was gonna know when I was gonna know, and I knew, and I did. <laughs> I know I didn't know that because I was like I had some suspicions throughout the. I guess we'll move on to a question for me. Did I expect it? Um, I had suspicions throughout everything. Like, okay, I know he has the ring because I knew he went and bought it, but I didn't Did know you? when. No. And I know we had talked about like by the end of summer probably being engaged. So I knew it was gonna happen, but it was like it could be soon. It could be months from now. I don't know. It could be the day after you get the ring. I had really no clue exactly what day. And then there were all these times that would have been perfect to propose our anniversary anniversary, going to South Carolina, all these things. And he was like, no, nope, it can't be on the day she's gonna expect it. And it ended up being on like a random Wednesday after work. So that's 
That's fun. I like that I was actually surprised. What made you decide to propose to me that day? And then what was your thought process? Like, okay, I'm proposing, here's what I'm gonna do. Well, uh, I got into the office and on the way to work, there was like pretty mid-tier accident. I'm sure for the people it was horrible um, because they were in it, but <laughs> from the outside looking in, you know, it was just a normal accident. And I kind of had the realization that, you know, I, I'm not promised tomorrow. Um, and I didn't want to go another day without you know, showing Sydney how much I love her. So, um, of course I had the ring with me in my backpack like I do every day. It was kind of just like, in the span of 30 minutes, I knew what I was gonna do. I just thought of kind of the things that we did together that really brought us close. So we would always go on walks. Um, you know, there was a time where we would go on walks every single day. Um, we'd always get coffee and, you know, um, so I asked her to go on a walk when I was at work. And texted me and want to go on a walk before my parents get there because they were staying with us that night. I was like, okay, I, we, you know, we live in a spot that's kind of far away than the park we used to walk at. So um, I knew that she was going to want to walk at that park. So I had already planned for it, but I let her bring the idea. Up. So it seemed like I wasn't planning it, but so. Well, I hear my point of view. <laughs> we, yeah, um, we, we went to the park and before that I had tried sneakily um, to go to the grocery store on the way back um, I got her some of her favorite sweets and treats and uh, some flowers and I had got coffee as well My favorite coffee um, And so we, we, I picked her up, we went on, uh, on the trail we, we used to always go We had coffee like we always did You know, I kind of just was asking her some questions Intense um, question You know, just making sure that she was ready to answer the question I was going to ask Didn't want me to say no yeah, um, we just walked to the end, we sat down, we talked, and I thought it was the perfect time to ask her because, you know, in a spot where we had had um, pretty intense conversations before, um, working through things, you know, in our past and things we wanted in the future and things about each other that we found out and worked through, so I think it was the perfect spot. It was. And then, got down, one knee. That is usually how it works. Okay, go, tell that part. I, you know, asked her to marry me. And, you know, how, how, knee. how? Well, I got down on one knee. There we go. I mean, what, is there another way to do it? Or do you like... That's the proper way. But do you get the other person to. to get on one knee and you... Is he that did, like he a, got down on one knee, pulled the ring out of his pocket, and he just had it in a little pocket. It's so like no box or anything, like just the ring. And I instantly, like, he was actually crying. I'll tell my side of the story in a minute, but he was started crying. I instantly just started bawling my eyes out, grabbed the ring, and then went straight for a hug without putting the ring on or anything. And... Just we held each other and cried and then we prayed over our marriage and then I was like, you have to put the ring on. <laughs> so then he put the ring on and it was so cute because it was like private, intimate. There was no pressure of like cameras on us or other people around. So we were really able to be like super vulnerable in what we were saying to each other. I think the things he said to me wouldn't have been the same if there was like a camera or people. So I was actually really glad and then I could be more myself with my emotions and not have to like act a certain way for other people, but it was like, I couldn't have asked for a better, does it have? It's hacked. <laughs> yeah, it's hacked. You know, I couldn't have asked for a better proposal. So now that you kind of told your whole side of the story, I'll kind of tell what was going on with me. So like I said, I kind of like suspected that it would be happening eventually. So it's a Wednesday. It was Wednesday, May 5th? No, that doesn't sound right. May 10th. It was Wednesday, May 10th. He texted me while he was at work, wanna go on a walk. And in that exact moment, I was like, he might propose. Because it was so random. Like, yes, we go on walks a lot, but usually you're like, I don't wanna go on a walk if it's a work day, cause I'll be tired from driving to work and stuff. Uh, cause he works like hybrid. So I was like, okay, but maybe he just wants to talk to me before your parents get here and have some alone time before we spend the whole weekend hosting them. So like, okay, could go either way. And I didn't want to get my hopes up because that had happened a few times. I was like, he's definitely gonna propose. And then he didn't. So I was like, mm, kind of sus. We'd be like, I'd ask, hey, you want to go to the grocery store? And she'd be like, you're gonna propose. And I'd be like, anything. It's like, hey. It's so bad. I was in high alert. You want to get in and out? Cause I, She's like, where's the ring? You know what I mean? Cause I knew he had it. So I was like, it literally could be at any moment. I wanted to yeah, be prepared. Yeah, literally any moment. I didn't know what was gonna go down. And every time I'd ask him, he'd be like, it's none of your business. So I kind of suspect it, but I always suspect it. So then he took forever coming home and he tried to be sly about it, but I checked his location to make sure he was okay. Cause I'm like, what if you got in a wreck? And 
um, he was at H-E-B. So I was like, okay, well he could just be getting gas or maybe he's just getting me flowers because I had mentioned that I would like flowers more often, which you had got me flowers the week before as well. So I was like, mm, it is kind of sus. So <laughs> then you show up and I was like, let me know when you're almost there and I'll get ready. He let me know, he gets there. He's like, I'm not changing, I'm just ready to go. And he's in his work clothes, like his Lululemon pants and like a collared shirt. So I was, I was like, I'm going. Okay, because normally he's like, I'm changing as soon as I get home and I gotta have my stupid to the knee basketball shorts that I've had since middle school and like that kind of vibe. So I was like, this is interesting that he wants to look nice. But I had like recorded TikTok just in case, like I think I might be getting proposed to today. So check out my TikTok to watch that. And then I was like, okay, well, where should we go on a walk? Um, we could go to, you know, all the places that we normally go. And I mentioned like the one we used to go to. Now he says, oh, she brought, I knew, I was like, what if he wants to go there to propose? So I kind of brought it up, but we hadn't been there. We've not been to that park in months. So I was like, okay, if you wanted to go to that park, um, get in the car, coffee is in the car. And at first I was, I was like, okay, where, why did you go to H-E-B? So I was like, maybe he did just get gas, but there was coffee. So I was like, this could be multiple reasons, but it's a bit of a surprise. Like, okay, I'm not gonna say it's out of the ordinary for you to surprise me with things after work, but I don't know, it was feeling a little sus. So we drive to the park and we get out and pretty much the whole drive, first of all, I'd had like a cup of coffee, Red Bull, and then now the, the Scooter's coffee. So I was hyped up on coffee. Like, think about me when I was like 15. That's how hyper I was. Uh, I was off the wall. So I'm like talking, 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 talk. And I was kind of nervous because I didn't know if you were going to propose or not. And so you start asking me all these questions about, you know, marriage and future and family and what if this, what if that, and telling me all these things you love, love about me. We get like maybe five minutes out from like our sitting spot and he go, well, actually when we got there, you were like, are we going to sit at our normal spot? So I was like, interesting. Of course we're going to sit at our normal spot, but why ask? So we're walking about five minutes away from the sitting spot we normally sit at, which is like we walk there, sit, and then walk back. Uh, he starts telling me everything he loves about me. Like detailed, like very sweet, like so cute. And I was like, okay. He's like, this is why I wanna marry you. This is what I love about you. This is what you've taught me in my life. This is how you, you know, those kind of things. Like you don't normally just say that on like a Wednesday afternoon on a walk. So I was like, okay. Um, then we get to our sitting spot. He tells me a million more things, asks me some questions. And then we get to the point where he's telling me so many things he loves about me. He starts kind of getting teary eyed. And as soon as like, he's about to start basically bawling, you get down on one knee and pull out the ring and you're crying and like, will you marry me? Ow, Phoenix just attacked my back. He literally just got up and crawled on me or clawed at me. Anyway, and that was my perspective. I said, yes, we had to pray over our marriage, put on the ring, and then we walked back. And I was like, literally, oh, I remember after we like had our emotional moment, I like grabbed you and I was like jumping. And I was like, yay, 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 fiance, fiance. I was, or actually I didn't say fiance. I was just like, yay, I'm so excited getting married. And it wasn't until we got in the car that I was like, oh, fiance. And he's like, I was waiting for you to call me fiance or something like that. So. I thought that was super cute and I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't have asked for a better proposal. Then we got back, his family was in town and we were discussing how we should tell them. Um, do you want to say what your idea was? My idea was to not. That's, well, yeah, because he wanted like, just see if they notice that you have a ring and then we'll tell everyone. So I covered up the ring, but then like, I don't know, everyone was already getting settled and getting talking. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to tell him. So I went up to his mom and just put the ring in front of her and was like, hi. And then she's like, oh, he gave it to you. And then everyone was like, yay, whatever. So that was really exciting. I called both my parents and they were like, oh my gosh, I think they were in like literally complete shock. Like I was probably more prepared than they were. So that was really funny. And then, you know, I got some texts and then I slowly texted everyone and let everyone know and all that. And then I posted on social media the next day, about 24 hours later, the social media thing was so funny because on Instagram I literally just started posting pictures of my hand and it started really subtle with me drinking coffee in the morning and then throughout the day it was like more obvious and I was getting a million DMs like is that a ring is that a ring and then I finally posted like a picture we took at his brother's graduation because because we didn't have like a we had like a messy picture of me like crying from the day of so we took a nice picture dressed up the next day at his brother's graduation so that worked out perfect to get a picture together posted that and then everyone knew and that's kind of the story um, of how he proposed and now we're engaged so we have a ton of wedding content coming out. I already started filming like wedding planning because I've already got like, you know, a good amount of like just the basics done. Um, we're going to be in Missouri this weekend. We're going to look at a venue um, and just because we're going to get married in Missouri and just a lot of those kind of details talked about his family with dates and getting that date officially set and all that. So stay tuned for the next video. Anything else you want to add? Um, you know, I'm glad we're, we're engaged. Um, great, I'm happy, and I love you, and I'm obviously thankful you said yes. Um, Yay, thank you, I love you too.
So now this is officially my fiance. That means that, wait, should I tell them what my last name's gonna be or do you wanna keep that like private? That's fine, you don't have to tell me yet. I don't have to tell him. Nope, secret. Stay tuned for last name reveal. See if any of them actually know. He doesn't have any social media, so good luck with that one. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, subscribe for more wedding content. And I know this wasn't a normal proposal video because we just wanted it private and intimate. And I really appreciate that because most of my life is online. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Bye!